Steve. So anyone who has questions, either for you, Warren, or our group from Brandeis. Mm -hmm. yes. I was interested in your video that you uh, have. Uh, so I want to know, so your, the, basically the, the style, you like interactive and talking about uh, a specific grammar point, right? So is it like a professor to a student, so or like two teachers? Belisi is a graduate student, and yeah. she is the teaching assistant. So the two of us were, I was talking with her, okay. and, and there's the, there's the, 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 the video on the blackboard that she was writing. Yeah, I know, I mean, her role, uh, is, a, is her role a student or a, another teacher, you know what I mean? Kind of in the middle, I think. Yeah, it's kind of in the middle. It depends on the day. Well, in the so case of the videos, you're... You know, oh, maybe. Sure, you're in the video, right? I know. Well, folks, I guess always. Yeah. She is very capable of articulating what people might find confusing. Yeah. The master sometimes is too far away from what caused him some difficulty early on in his learning, whereas somebody who is also masterful remembers sharply what what was hard about that part of grammar, what was hard about this particular kind of sentence, and can ask the, the master and be masterful herself. Okay. It's like a talk show almost. <laughs> 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 yeah. well, I mean, we try to make it something lively and there's yeah, interaction between us. But, but uh, one thing I would emphasize is that this is so easy to do, okay? We just had a, a, a computer with a video camera yeah. and, and we just sat in front of my, in my office. Yeah. We just sat there and did Okay, we yeah. didn't do we didn't do retakes, we didn't edit them, we just like that. So it's really it's yeah. off the shelf yeah. straightforward. Like you all says two clicks and you're done. It was yeah. amazingly really simple. I've seen some videos too in uh, teaching Chinese that like people shoot these videos but they may not be professional uh, teachers yes. or instructors yes. but just talking about this grammar point or this character or something like that. People really love this idea. I think it's, it's more effective for people for you to be talking. Even uh -huh. we're not movie stars, right? We we we're just. Yeah. Are, are you going to cover the same content in your actual classroom? Or? So no. I mean, what we we put it there for them, and then what we did in the classroom was to practice using those concepts. Oh, okay. Like okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Was a real foot. If you don't mind, I'll introduce Please. the question. So, you know, Len, you mentioned that you've been, you know, this is your 45th year yes. teaching here. I'm wondering to what extent flipping now with the current generation of students is more effective than that same style might have been at the beginning of your career. Do you sense over that span of time? a difference in learning that also perhaps needs to be factored somehow in Zubin's uh, scheme. So, I mean, I think it's, it's um, I think the main thing it, is that, that what they need to focus on, what they need to mm -hmm. practice, and what is kept on emerging yeah. as I went on was actually doing the, doing the mental process of, of mm -hmm. translating a sentence. Yeah. Okay? And, and I think that was the difficulty from the beginning, and getting them to see what they were what they were, didn't understand, mm -hmm. but again, we would be able to see that and to explain it better to them. Okay? So, so I think if I'd been able to do this 45 years ago, it would have worked. Yeah. <laughs> because it gave me the time and the ability to do that. I think this is a generation that's receptive to videos like this. Mm -hmm. And it has all yeah. the technology for that and, and understands that that's a way of, you know, the short videos are an effective way of communicating. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. But I think the essential conceptual problem was there from the beginning and, and this is the only way to, to fix it. That's why I think finally yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the way to do it. Mm -hmm. I have a question about um, the data that you collected. So is that part of the learning management system, data analysis, or is it part of this hosting ensemble? Um, it's part of the yeah, there's an analytics section uh, that can show you uh, logs of when and how often students have, have access to a particular item stored there. Okay, so Ensemble is integrated into Moodle? Um, yeah, it has a... It has, um, it's semi, so it's right, it has a, there's a Moodle, there's a Moodle integration with it that allows faculty to 
import their movies from their library, so it eliminates the step of having to log into the ensemble system and manually put it in, because you can grab links or embed codes. So you can post the videos that are uploaded there anywhere, but for getting it into your Moodle course, you can do it directly from Moodle in the block. But they actually live in an ensemble. Right, they live on a server, right? It's our media repository, basically. Yeah. Um, yes. I have a question for the Professor Wang. <laughs> so because the, you, you said your class is of uh, the advanced trainees, so, I, uh, so how many hours in a week, of course? In the classroom? Yes. In the classroom for, uh, um, actually we have three meetings. Uh, the first two meetings, um, um, each meeting is 75 minutes, and so the third meeting is 50 minutes. So the third meeting is actually more, we call it the so-called uh, fourth hour class, meaning uh, focusing on discussion, not dealing with new content. Uh, so the first two meetings, uh, students deal with uh, uh, new content, and the uh, third meeting is more like we could call it discussion uh, class or drill class, whatever. It's like a review class, <coughs> and so we can do some extensive kind of like uh, deal with extensive materials. That's why the video subtitling is actually dealt with uh, in that meeting. So it's typically it's like seventy-five plus seventy-five plus fifty, and so that's the advanced class uh, kind of like schedule. Uh, because for the lower level, we, we actually uh, teach every day, mm -hmm. like the five days in a week, and then we call them intensive. Mm -hmm. uh, so the intensive um, classes are uh, basically first year Chinese, second year Chinese. Um, so when we go to third year, so it becomes like three meetings, 75, 75, 50. So this one is for the third year Chinese? It's, uh, we call it, um, 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 because at Mahalo College, we only the um, um, highest level, uh, when we talk about level, it's like 300 level. Mm -hmm. And so, but it's actually fourth year Chinese. It's, you know, the most advanced level at Mahalo College, yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, so in that case, so how many topics you can complete in a semester? Uh, one semester, six. Six topics, uh -huh. um, but it's, it's um, I guess you know it depends on uh, the class. It's very much depends on the class. So, uh, but on average, six topics. Okay. And so, if you want to go faster, you can probably do eight topics. Uh, so it all depends on you know uh, your student competence. In other words, like you know whether they are able to uh, really. Um, you know, deal with more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, deal with so more it's topics. Yeah. So each topic includes mm -hmm. two videos. Two. Two pieces. So one short one, one yeah, longer one. 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 Yeah. Sorry. So yeah. So two pieces. In two pieces, one. yeah. Okay. In one topic, yeah. Okay. So both videos are related to the same topic. Uh -huh. Yeah. But used for different purposes. Okay, thank you. But there is a fair amount of overlap. In, gra in uh, great, oh. yeah, great amount of uh, overlapping uh, in, in terms, terms of sort of vocabulary and, and, you know, I guess, you know, different kind of like perspectives. So we deal with, uh, let's say, you know, environmental pollution, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so you deal with different kind of like, let's say, you know, um, you know, the pollution, air pollution in China, let's say, you know, yeah. and also like you can push history way back, the London pollution. The Linda's air pollution, like mm -hmm. many, many years ago. Yeah. So different like perspectives. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I know you said you oh I'm sorry. Please. Okay, so I have a question about the videos. Do you own the videos? Well the because so we were um like uh, uh, funded by the so called five college consortium. So the videos are not yet available. Um, owned actually by the five college not uh, so we kind of like uh, take the copyright to the five colleges. Um, so there's like a five college uh, ink website. So I don't know how they're going to, um, you know, make them available to our colleagues so that I, we can ask them, you know, how they're going to handle this. But basically, um, they say they own the videos. 
for the last five years. Mm -hmm. okay. So anyone who is interested in using the video state, they can go to the psychology uh, and so they can you know, ask for the user. We are out of time for today, but I hope you all continue the discussion informally. Thank you. Thank you.